and welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie. If you saw the title of today's video, oh, this situation just gets sillier and sillier with Amber Heard, and we're going to laugh at it, and that's what we're just going to do on this channel. We're going to giggle our way through this insanity, and if you're new here and you haven't yet, please make sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell. We like to giggle at all this stupid pop culture stuff, and I would love to have you guys here. Also, like, leave a comment. Everything helps. So what are we going to talk about today? Well, as you guys know, if you've been following my channel or following the story, Amber Heard, <laughs> she and Elaine Brendahop, which is her main attorney, they are trying to call, not just for an appeal, they've said they're going to appeal this, but they've also tried getting this verdict completely just thrown out. They're trying to get all of this done and over with for Amber, and they're even calling for a retrial. But there is one very, very important key to this that they are missing that could get this appeal completely thrown out altogether. And that is, and we're about to jump into this, is that when it comes to Amber, for her to do an appeal, she has to put up some of the money that she owes Johnny, which is in like the 10 million mark right now, plus 6% interest. Now, some lawyers have argued that that might not be the case, but that's what we know from Judge Penny from what she has said. And Elaine Brendehoff has made it very clear in interviews when they did the media circuit, made it very clear that Amber doesn't have that money. So if she's broke, but then when she was in Virginia, when they were doing this court case, $22,000 a month mansion. She was doing, doing all this lavish spending. So if she's broke, how is she affording all of this? Who's paying for it? Which I have videos on that too. And I'm sure you guys have heard some of those rumors. And what is actually happening? Well, a lot of people are saying that right now, everything that's going on and even her paying Johnny has to do with insurance she has from defamation. But we have some inside information into what is actually going on with that insurance company, what the policies are, and how that can affect Amber trying to get an appeal, a mistrial, or a redo of the whole trial. All right, let's jump on and let's check this info out because this is uh, this is some spicy court stuff. So we have, this is from the New York Post. It says, Amber Heard is broke due to mounting legal fees and lavish spending. Now the article's a little bit older, but there are points from this I wanna take to explain what I'm talking about. And it says, Amber Heard can't pay the 10.4 million she owes Johnny Depp her lawyer revealed Thursday. As sources told the Post, the actress is broke due to hefty legal fees associated with the bombshell defamation trial. Oh, absolutely not. Heard's attorney, Elaine Brendehoff, told NBC Today when asked if the actress had the means to cover the hefty judgment handed down by the jury on Wednesday. The high profile court battle with her ex-husband has left the 36 year old actress hurting for cash according to sources, including one who also placed the blame on Heard's past lavish spending on travel, clothes, gifts, and wine. How much money is that in all these things? I don't know. A part of me is like, it's not my business, but then this has all become our business. <laughs> so is it or is it not? And it says, multiple sources said the Aquaman star had to switch legal representation and is relying on her homeowner's insurance policy to cover the costs of her current attorney fees in the case. The bill for Heard's attorney has mostly been footed by the traveler's companies under terms of the actress's insurance policy. A vice president of the insurance firm, Pamela Johnson, was spotted in Fairfax, Virginia court with Heard multiple times throughout her trial. Neither Johnson nor travelers returned calls from the post says Pamela Johnson, a vice president of Travelers Insurance Company, was spotted with her multiple times, and we can see her there. And it says legal experts said using homeowners insurance policies is common in defamation cases. It's a little oddity that most people don't know. In most homeowners insurance policies, there is coverage if you are sued for defamation based on how much you paid through coverage, Heather Heidelbaugh, a Pennsylvania trial attorney, told The Post. While the insurance company then hires and pays for the attorney, Virginia lawyer Jeremiah Denton said most policies have a clause that stipulates that judgment costs won't be covered. It says the insurance company will keep in its back pocket the option of denying coverage at the end of the day, 
Denying coverage means refusing to pay the plaintiff, in this case, Mr. Depp, Denton said. A lot of insurance policies provide coverage for defamation, but they have an exclusion in it, which says we will not cover any intentional wrongdoing, Denton said. In order to win a defamation case against a public figure, you have to show intentional wrongdoing. Sometimes what it requires to get the judgment kicks you out of the policy that may pay for the judgment. That is the dilemma. Representatives for Heard and Brenda Hoff also didn't respond to the Post's request for comment about the star's financial situation. Heard's net worth has been estimated at between 1.5 million and 2.5 million as of Thursday, according to the Celebrity Net Worth site and other outlets. A far cry from what she owes Depp in the wake of the jury's ruling. Amid the lurid six-week defamation trial, Heard and multiple witnesses have testified that the actress might not have the funds to actually pay her ex-husband. I mean, Brenda Hoff came out and said she doesn't have the funds. Court testimony revealed that Heard was paid $1 million for 2018's Aquaman and another $2 million for the sequel, which is due out next year. Her role in that movie has been significantly reduced, but now it's actually been doubled. <laughs> Witnesses testified about how Heard's, uh, Heard lost several brand endorsements, including one with L'Oreal, after Depp's lawyer launched a smear campaign against her. Heard also never made good on her promise to donate the seven million she received from Depp in their 2016 divorce settlement to the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Remember, pledged, donate. She testified the donations were delayed because of her legal fees and bills. A representative for the ACLU told jurors that the actress cut the last check for the charity in 2018, but then stopped making payments because we learned she was having financial difficulties. Depp sued Heard in 2019. She testified that she had every intention of still making the donations, telling jurors I would love him to stop suing me so I can. Depp could still potentially claim the money he was awarded by garnishing his ex-wife's wages from her two upcoming movies, levy her assets, or even seize her house in California's Yucca Valley, experts told The Post. The three-bedroom, three-bathroom desert oasis has been valued at $1 million. Herds purchased it in 2019 for $570,000 under a private trust in the name of her account and her accountant, according to property records seized by the Post. If she doesn't have the money, then this avenue, while she's pursuing an appeal, is to try to execute on property she owns or her bank accounts, Virginia appellate lawyer Stephen Emmert said. He added that if Depp wants to find out where Heard's assets are, he could serve her with a summons for debtors interrogatories, where you summon the debtor to come to court and his lawyers would get to ask her questions saying, what property do you own? What real estate do you own? What vehicles do you own? What jewelry do you own? What art collections? Anything else that they could use to grab and sell at auction to try to pay down and pay off ultimately this judgment. Denton said that if Heard doesn't turn over the judgment's money, Depp can institute collection proceedings so he can garnish Heard's pay if she has a salary or wage type income or if she ever does in the future. He can attach her assets, which basically means seize them. He can get assets, sell them, and take the cash, says Denton. Now here, in my opinion, here's an interesting thought, guys. What if in all of this, she goes through with her book deal, gets a million bucks, Johnny turns around, resues her for defamation, and then he takes the money from the book and garnishes her wages. I'm just saying it would be very, very entertaining. But here's where it's at, guys. So if she can't pay her legal fees or if that insurance policy doesn't in any way, shape, or form cover the expenses for Johnny, how is she going to actually do an appeal? Which makes me wonder if this is why she's trying to do a mistrial and a retrial. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm so interested to hear what you guys think. Sound off in the comments, let me know. Also, if you are new here and you like this video, make sure and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, give me a like. It all greatly helps. And otherwise, we're gonna end the silliness here and we're gonna wait and see what happens. Okay guys, take care, lots of love, lots of blessings. Till the next video, I'm giving everybody hugs. Mwah! Kisses, stay safe, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye guys.